introduction of beauties. Also joining us this afternoon for a panel discussion, she's a supermodel, a beauty queen, married to the esteemed photographer of the country, a freelance makeup artist, a, a vocal advocate of, cerv of cervical cancer-free Philippines. She's a standout on her own. Ladies and gentlemen, you know her, Abigail Arenas de Leon. Hi, Abby. Oh, yes, she just gave birth. Five weeks ago. Whoa. Can you believe it? Oh, now they hate you. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, let's make ourselves comfy. Hi, ladies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to Peter Rose, Andy, and Abby. I want to start first with uh, our mommy daughter tandem, if you don't mind, Abs. So, yes, uh, Ms. Rose, we, I, I had announced in their introduction. You, you went through cervical cancer, but let's get through first, like in our video, what was life for you like before? I mean, what was it like? Five kids, it's a handful. Yeah, I have five kids and um, our life before was really carefree. Yeah, and everything, we would do everything together. Um, we would travel, eat out, watch movies, this is before. You, you, you're one of those who would think, it won't happen to me. Oh yeah, I never thought of it. I, it never crossed my mind. Because you look great. And you're, you're always the healthy, yeah. you, you like working yes, out, yes. eating I, right? I, yes, I eat right, I, I work out. And so it, it came as a surprise to me when I found out. Oh. Well, I can see it carries over to your daughter with living healthy, looking gorgeous. You, Andy, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken or not presuming, you look the way you do, live the way you do, because you had a great example. Yes, that's true. Hi, everyone. Hi, by the way. Um, it's, it's, it changed now, especially that, you know, I'm also a mom, right? It, I'm also a mom, so it, it changed differently um, on how, you know, how I would look at everything when uh, she had cervical cancer. But like your question, like what did we do before? It was so normal, you know, our house is crazy. Imagine there's four girls and one guy. So kawawa talaga yung lalaki sa house. So it's, it's crazy, it's super crazy. Um, and the thing is, I'm always with my mom. Like I see her always. Because you're the pangana. Yes, not only that, because we're also a very close family. So I see her ma like four times a week. And no fail, I either um, call her or we Skype or we FaceTime all the time. So no fail, I always talk to my mom. So even if I'm far away, but if you just imagine our house, it's crazy always. So you can just imagine like it's always a matter of uh, what are we going to do today? Where are we going to go today? Right? It was always that. Until, may I ask how you found out, Tita Rose? Uh, okay. Um... I was out with friends and I mentioned to them that I was bleeding. Period. Uh, yes, but it was a constant ah, bleeding. Okay. And I thought I was going through menopause. So my my yeah, menopause. I'm of age already. Okay. So so my friend said that's not normal. And and the next day I went to my, my cousin who's a movie guy. And yeah, I told him my problem and he said, come, come to the clinic and let's just have it tested. And so I, I went right away and you know, he told me don't wait because he knows me. I, I'll come three months after, but he said, get a checkup, don't wait, let's do it right away. Good note on that, huh? excessive yeah. bleeding, yeah. no matter what age, yes. no matter what age, excessive bleeding, get yourself checked. So you uh, did. So yeah, I did my. I, I got myself checked, and it was positive for. Getting yourself checked, and we just define this in terms. Pap smear. Yes. That's what the, our doctors were saying earlier. Yes. Pap smear. Yes. Uh, when I got the pap smear, my doctor said he could already feel the tumor. How many tumor now? Yes. Ooh. And so he he also did a biopsy. How did, how did you feel when you when you heard it? You muna, I don't even want to go yet to Andy when she found out. So you first, Tita. How did you feel? You were alone. You were were you alone? I was with my clinic? my husband was with me. Okay, in, in the hospital. And um, when my doctor did a pap smear, he was a hundred percent sure. Na yun na. Yeah. So he didn't have to wait, and he told my husband that 
I already did have the cancer. And he, of course, my world crashed. Yeah, what's going through your head? Everything, my, my kids, my family, uh, and you know, everything did not seem important to me, but my family, my children, and trying to survive. So, of course, I was crying. We were both crying as we were going out of the hospital. I can just imagine, uh, I can picture it right now. But, um, and he said, he was, we were just holding hands and crying, and he said, we'll, we'll get through. I'll help you fight this. How old were they? You weren't married yet? Um, this was two years ago. So, you know, three, three, three years ago. 2013. 2013. Um, this was the time that I was about to get married and I was planning my whole wedding. And I, was, I think how many more months before my wedding? Maybe uh -huh. like five months before yes. my wedding. Yeah. That's when I. That's when we that's all when found, we found out. out. Yeah. So in my head, when she told us, and I remember, uh, my mom told us, texted all of the kids, and she said, um, "Let's have dinner, and um, just you and us." And I was like, "Was that the day off, Natita? You didn't wait na? after the hospital? No, that no, night, na? no. Uh, after the hospital, I went back the next day, and then I already planned with my doctor." the treatment that I was going to have. Ah, okay. You had a plan yes. before talking to the children yes. first. Okay. So that's when I spoke to my children, Ready I now. could tell them this is what, it's going to take this long, and you know, I could prepare them. See, you gotta prepare yourself first before <laughs> yeah. facing yeah. the... Okay. okay, sorry, Andy, so I'd, I'd like to turn to you. So the day yeah. we found out. So the day we found out, and it's so weird because we always have dinner at home. And I think this is one of the first few times when mom goes, okay, let's have dinner out um, in somewhere private and special. So everyone was saying, what, what's up with mom? Like, is she pregnant again? So we were like, are we gonna have a sixth child? So we were, you know, we were kind of giddy or ha and happy about it because she might, you know, she just wanted to take us out and share something special with us. No suspicion. No, no suspicion. Yeah. So we were, we were at a restaurant and we were at the corner and she said, um, I just want to tell you guys something. And then she started crying and we